Jessica may injure one of them. Did you, did you see Jess this morning? Yeah, Jessica is in the water. Well, that's good. What I suggest, we call her out. Uh -huh. She'll come up here. And then we ignore her. Let her settle down and then slip away quickly and bring uh, the, the puppies and put them down there. Jess! Where is she, my liefie? Come on, let's go to grass. Come on, liefie. That's the three new family members. <laughs> As Tony brings the puppies up to the lawn to meet Jessica, no one knows how she will react. It looks like Jessica has found her favorite puppy. This is what an introduced pup to Jessica it looks like. None the worse, just slimy and gritty. You survived a hippo attack, huh? Oh, thank you, Lifiki. Thank you, my puppy. All the puppies are fine. And as a reward for her gentleness, Tony and Shirley bring out the sweet potatoes. You can see uh, the uh, mother instinct coming to the fore. The way she uh, handled the, the pup lovingly, licking it. And she's a real little mother. The mother instinct All we is need is our own little cough. But there's been a worrying development. Jessica's prospects for motherhood have hit a setback. A few weeks ago, Charlie left the river and has not returned. Hey, it's Charlie. Hey, it's Charlie's a black. Ooh. You can't eat that. Though all young male hippos roam around, Charlie has never been away for this long before. With Charlie away, Tony takes the opportunity to repair his raft, which has suffered under Charlie's nighttime antics. Living with a hippo means that Tony's life is one long round of repairs and home improvements. This window was broken by Jessica. The door handle was broken by Jessica. And there's this one, there's that one there, the one below here. There's about another four which has to be replaced. I think uh, this door handle will last about from half an hour to about two weeks, but we'll have to replace it again. After all, keeping your house in order is hard when your hippo knows how to open the door. Tony and Shirley's bed is safe from Jessica. Tony knows this can't continue. The only way to safeguard the house is to build a hippo proof front door. Yes. Ooh, we've got a problem today. Come 
Tony is very pleased with his new front door. For the time being, we won up on it. <laughs> but Shirley hates it. Shirley doesn't like my door. She thinks it thinks it's cruel. Tony. Pardon? I don't think Jessica understands what's going on. Maybe she's traumatized now. No, no, she's not. Hello, my beloved. She is going I can see it. Mama. Is it Mama? I think uh, the uh, installation of this new safety door is more traumatic to Shirley than what it is to Jess. <laughs> but Tony knows that even this steel door is only a temporary solution. The only weak point there is uh, the hinges which are bolted into the wall. I think she might have to wait another year. A bit more power in the neck here. But in the end, she's going to rip that door out. You agree with me? Totally. Yeah, there she is. She's very clever. Coming up. Local farmers proved to be the biggest threat to Jessica's future. He's a, he's a trigger happy boy. Jessica the Hippo was born during a flood and washed up onto the riverbank outside of Tony Jubin's home. Now she's six years old and her adoptive parent has enlisted veterinarian Peter Rogers to help get Jessica pregnant. Tony! Hello, Tony. And Doug, how are you? Look at you. Since he last saw Jessica, Peter has turned up some new research about when female hippos can be expected to go through puberty. It's interesting because if you read the literature, you know, you, there's a lot of five and seven. There's a lot of uh, discrepancies about what age is the onset of puberty. They seem to find that it's more closely related to the, to the body weight of the animal. That appears the latest research suggests that female hippos go through puberty not at a certain age, but at a certain weight. And that magic weight is at least 900 kilos or 1,984 pounds. This makes Jessica 100 kilos, or 220 pounds, too light for puberty. And, uh... As if to rub salt into the wound, results from the dung samples that Tony and Shirley collected confirm that she isn't ready to conceive. It's a blow to Tony and Shirley. Jessica won't be a mother anytime soon. Oh, it's like a block of flats, eh? Right. There's more bad news. On a routine trip to get Jessica's groceries, Tony is given a photo. It's a picture of a hippo that was shot by a local farmer. Tony recognizes the hippo immediately. This is most certainly Charlie. This hippo was shot around about July. It's the farm next door to where I saved Charlie, where he fell into the concrete reservoir. So he knows the area. And July is exactly the same time when Charlie disappeared. That's Charlie. Charlie was killed because he was caught grazing on the crops of a local farm. And some farmers would rather shoot hippos than maintain expensive hippo-proof fences. It's cruel, Tony. Well, that's a human. That's why I prefer animals to humans. God should have never made man. Biggest mistake. Charlie was Tony's best chance of getting Jessica comfortable with wild hippos. Killing Charlie was a senseless act that cut down Jessica's closest hippo friend. Yeah, we miss Charlie. I miss Charlie. Later that evening, Tony shares his real worry, that one day Jessica may be shot and killed. Like with uh, Charlie and all the other hippos, there's a, this uh, human factor. He's a, he's a trigger happy boy. They, uh, this is how I shot an hippo. These guys, I mean, they get this opportunity to shoot a hippo. That has always been a threat and a concern to me since she was a baby, that this can happen.
Jessica could be shot because she has no fear of humans. Whereas a wild animal would naturally run away from people, Jessica might approach them. And to strangers who don't know her, she would appear as a dangerous rogue animal. After all, wild hippos are notoriously dangerous, but it's not clear whether Jessica is wild or tame. I think Jessica yeah, is tame. But I always say to people, you know, Jessica is a wild animal. You can take her out of the bush, but you can never take the bush out of her, and they must respect that when they approach her. Absolutely. Jessica has two personalities, a friendly, tame exterior and a wild instinct. Even at six years old, Jessica has the power to do serious damage. So was it right for Tony to rescue Jessica? The very act of raising her has removed Jessica's innate fear of humans. By saving Jessica, Tony could well be accused of signing her death warrant. Uh, the future for an animal like Jessica, yes, you know, it's, it's something I'd rather not even think about because to me, in the back of my mind, it's always the fact that it, it's a wild animal. And is something going to one day uh, make that animal change and, and become aggressive? It can be just one incident. Um, and then she might have to be destroyed, you know. So, but having said that, a lot of people say that um, to raise wild animals is, is bad because they always come to a sticky end. That may be true in most cases, but when you're actually confronted with that situation of a little newborn animal in front of you and you have the power to make it live or die, you've got to be pretty inhuman not to try and make it live. Tony knows that not everyone would agree with his decision to save Jessica. To some people, it's a controversial, you're right. Um, some would say, um, nature says you, you must be cruel to be kind. So we should have just left and let the nature go its way. Uh, and uh, guaranteed she would have ended up in a crock stomach. So she, she wouldn't have survived. Uh, I feel, yes, there are certain instances where you don't in interfere with nature, but there are also times when you must interfere. So if I find orphan animals, I try to save them. And uh, Sherry feels the, the same way. Definitely. Regardless of what other people may think, Tony has no regrets. Even after six years, he remains amazed by Jessica the Hippo each and every day. They both go into a trance. I've never seen an animal with this behavior in my whole life. And I've raised many, many animals. And out of the blue comes a hippopotamus. And she tells me, listen, Kai, you, think you know something about animals. Let me teach her something. You know nothing. You can go anywhere on earth. A person communicating with a lion or a jump or elephant. But this type of friendship I've never seen. He's got no fear on earth, no worries about food or drought or whatever. So what the hell else does she want? Lots of love. Exactly. One day, Jessica may get pregnant and have a calf of her own. Tony and Shirley plan for Jessica's baby to enjoy the life of a wild hippo. Without Tony and Shirley, Jessica the hippo would not be alive. So however eccentric Jessica's life might be, it's one full of love and affection. And for her part, Jessica has provided comfort to both Shirley and Tony in ways they could never have imagined. Well, don't forget, Dominic Littlewood and Cherie Murphy are chasing down more dodgy dealers as they help a family of five find their feet in brand new Cowboy Builders tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Next tonight, though, it's new CSI Miami.